Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a um, flip through of my current planner setup. And um, this is my current planner. I've recently changed out the gold discs for rainbow discs, which are super pretty. I like them, um, but it's almost a little too much for me. So I think I'm going to end up going back to the gold disc soon um, just because yeah, just because I it was fun for a while, but I think I'm gonna go back because um, I like the kind of neutrality of the gold discs. Um, as you'll see as I flip through, when you have certain colored discs, they can conflict with the spread tone that you're trying to create. So, um, and to start, let me talk about this cover. So, well, many planner babes and different people have asked me where I got this cover from and what planner it's from. This cover is from a uh, covers only accessory pack. I got it uh, almost two years ago, I would say, in a summer release for back to school, and um, it was just covers, so it would be pretty hard to find. I'm sorry, I know I love this cover to death, and um, if you can find it, um, hooray for you. Um, try eBay maybe, or um, maybe even Amazon. But yeah, so that is where this cover's from. It's not on a planner that you can actually purchase. So that said, this cover is um, just the beginning of my Franken planned setup. And Franken planning is basically when you take uh, pieces of full planners and put them together. Um, the beauty of, of discs, the disc rings, that you can take things in and out and move things around and customize your planner. So, Franken planning, um, that term is used to describe how this planner is set up. I've put multiple planners in one setup. I don't put the whole planner. I only put like one or two months at a time. And then that way I can keep it kind of compact, but all together and um, just plan on, you know, plan in one planner instead of having three or four planners for all the different aspects of my life that I plan in. So, um, this is a planner I recently picked up at um, Joann's, which is another horizontal planner. And um, I'm going to go from my uh, neutral setup, which you're gonna see in this one here, to the setup that's in here. So it's still pretty neutral. I'll show you an example of a month. Um, but it um, has a little pop of color every month. So I'm really excited to get into this try something different um, and then I like the uh, the currently pages as well as the dividers both of these bring me joy I love the color and um, I don't know just it's a really pretty planner I'm, I'm not sure why I didn't pick it up originally um, maybe I was just kind of wait and you know waiting to see what came out and then um, but I saw this one on clearance and I looked through it and I was like yes I need this in my life so I picked it up and this will be my um, new planner going forward, so I'll be using the months out of here. So, um, that said, getting into my current setup. Um, so I have my cover, which again is not part of any planner. And then I have this um, envelope, which I got out of a baby, I think, accessory pack, along with a few folders you'll see in here. Um, I just needed a few things like these envelopes and I need a couple folders and I really thought that the um, baby uh, accessory pack was very, I don't know, it was pretty and not super kid-like or not super baby oriented, which you'll see. So um, that is where this envelope came from. And then I made a sticky dashboard uh, not too long ago. I had one that was about, about half this size um, in here before that I kind of punched myself from an Erin Condren um, sticky dash that they had had. I, I punched it for the discs instead of um, the Erin Condren coil and um, it had uh, like these stickers on there or these stickies um, and I really liked these stickies but I needed more room because I wanted to add in all of my new accessory pack stickies that I thought I would use and then also get a few more um, options available. So I made the sticky dash it's basically just a vellum sheet. I don't know if that's actually vellum. It's some kind of plastic sheet um, that you get uh, from, you know, the craft store uh, cardstock, you know, where they have all the paper stock. 
Um, I got it there. I think I got this one at, uh, I want to say Michael's, maybe. And um, just kind of trimmed it out to a page size with a little dash, um, what do you call this? A little tab at the top. And um, the reason I like this is because, one, it was gold. I liked the gold writing. I thought that was a really pretty. And two, the plastic sticks much better for the sticky notes. When I put uh, sticky notes on paper, they tend to fall off a lot easier, so the plastic tends to hold the sticky um, material a lot better, so I can put, you know, a handful on here and not worry about them all falling down, um, you know, as I turn the page and what have you, without having to glue them. I didn't want to have to glue them down, um, so just an FYI on that. Uh, and I did think about actually sticking this to this cardstock backer, but I decided just to leave it loose because, um, you know, in case I want to change it later or what have you, it's just nice to have the option and um, it works pretty well as is, so no big deal there. So I have that, all my stickies, and then um, I have just this cardboard, or not cardboard, uh, cardstock backer from a, a gold pack that I got a long time ago from Michaels. Um, also, I've dated all of these, not dated, but we labeled, I've labeled all of these um, with the sections and things like that that I have them in. So, so the next section that we're going to talk about is my daily section. And um, this again is um, from a neutral horizontal planner that I've been planning from. And um, although I like the neutral, you know, blank slate to plan in, this, these dividers don't have a lot of pizzazz to them, not a lot of interest, so I am excited to be using this new planner, the, the Beautiful Life Planner I showed you before. Um, but that said, here is um, my March after the pen, and I really like decorating the monthly spreads in a seasonal theme, however, um, I really don't utilize them fully to the fullest. I think next month I'm going to try to use it more for budget planning. So I, I might start putting in like when things are due and, and that kind of stuff to try to help uh, utilize the space a little bit better. Um, but I do like to make it kind of fun and do all like, you know, the um, holidays and things like that that come up. So um, and it, other than that, if, it's, if there's nothing too big going on, I usually don't um, I don't really refer to the monthly calendar, my daily. So next I have um, the first week of March, and this was um, a fun uh, theme that I used from, this was inspired by multiple planner babes that did this kind of rainbow uh, circular theme. And um, yeah, so I really enjoyed this spread, something different but very fun, and so, um, yeah, so that was that after the pen. And my next one was from the Choose Happy um, themed spread, so most of the flowers and things came from Choose Happy, and um, Color Story Big, too, I think was another one that I used quite a bit in the spread. But here's a look at the after the pen. Again, um, I think this one came out pretty well, uh, too. I like to have I like to use those those lists and fill up the little spaces and kind of highlight something throughout the day when I can. So, um, yeah, so that was a good spread. And then here is the um, deep tones, I believe is what it was referred to at the time. Um, spread after the pen, another pretty one. I love these watercolor flowers. Just, um, yeah, I think the watercolor flowers are my favorite of all time. I used them a couple of times already. And different spreads with different tones and they're just very pretty so um, yeah so this was a nice one and then the next one was the watercolor brights um, I am definitely a fan of watercolor in general I um, so I really do gravitate towards watercolor anything and so um, as you could probably tell from the car watercolor <laughs> um, but yeah so that is the after the pin and that spread and again another fun week and then we had the farmhouse florals which um, I really love this color scheme uh, I love teal and so yeah again another watercolor kind of theme so um, 
yeah, it was another fun one. Okay, so that was March, and then again, I didn't really use it currently. Um, I only have used the March currently previously for the spring bucket list, and I did mark off a few of those, um, but I put that away recently just because, um, you know, it's almost summer and I'm ready to move into my other months. So that said, we've got April and again, another kind of um, clean, but a uh, simple divider to look at. And um, I'm still in April. Obviously, it's um, I wanted to show you before I moved the months out. So um, I'm in the last just the last couple days of April's, but I wanted to show you what I had so far. So um, this was the April spread. I have added a bit more to this monthly just because um, I had uh, a big projects due. And so I had those on here as well as a few fun things planned um, throughout the week. And so, yeah, so that's just my monthly spread and again somewhat underutilized so i'm hoping to change that next month I'll show you that oh also too so i use these dashboards um, throughout so i have my daily month so i can go straight to this page if i need to you know find a date in the month and then i have my daily week which will flip right to the week that we're currently in but we'll get to that in a second so um, the next week I have in here is the April, I call this the bumblebee spread. Um, it was part of the Color April Challenge uh, made by Dash of Plan. So all throughout April, all my spreads were, um, uh, were prompted or, or were following along with that challenge, that planner challenge, and she would give you a prompt for what theme to use that week, and then you would design your planner accordingly and, and post. Um, on Instagram. So this week the challenge was, I believe, yellow and florals. So I pulled those and um, I decided to use black as another tone to add in there. And this is how it turned out. And a little different for me, but it was fun to do something different. And I think it came out pretty fun. So yeah. And then the next week the prompt was free. Um, so I meant you can do anything you wanted on that next week. And so uh, this is what I did. I was inspired by the washi tape I had recently picked up and um, basically made this spread off of that. And I think it came out really pretty. I enjoyed this spread quite a bit. And I was pretty proud of my washi corner since um, you guys know I have washi struggles. So there's that. And then the next week was Easter week, so the prompt was pastels. So this was the theme I used. Uh, some of it came from Daydreamer, but I was surprised that the Daydreamer florals weren't as pastel as I had wanted. So I ended up pulling some from the Choose Happy Again um, sticker book and it worked out pretty well. So we have that. And then this is the week that we're currently in. Um, this is the prompt was green and tropical. So um, this one I just recently did um, a video on obviously, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, it's got a lot going on, which is a little bit, um, it's not what I normally go for uh, as far as, I think it's the patterns that kind of make me feel like there's a lot going on, but um, I have enjoyed this it actually. It does make me feel like tropical, beachy, and so, it's getting me ready for summer and for um, a vacation I have soon um, to Hawaii, which I'm really excited about. So um, yeah, this is a really good one. And then I have a few things here to do. So um, left to do in the mic, but this is the after the pen so far. And oh, and then I wanted to show you guys um, my habit tracker uh, that I've been using. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have talked about trying to get 100 uh, ounces of water a day. And so I made this little habit tracker um, after the first week of April to kind of push me to hit certain markers throughout the day. And so that's what you're seeing here, um, kind of like a little habit tracker. And uh, it's, it started really strong. Um, it got a little weaker near the end, but I still tend to catch up by the end of the day to where I need to be. So that's at least happy. It's getting me to think about water and drinking throughout the day. So 
that's been really nice. And then I put on the back because um, I wanted to do more uh, Bible study and more, you know, quality time with God. And again, I've been doing the Bible readings pretty well, but I just haven't been doing the in-depth study as I had hoped or the lettering that I had wanted to do. I just got so busy this month that I, um, you know, I kind of let it go a little bit, which was a little disappointing, but I'm hoping to pick it back up next month. So anyway, that is what that little habit tracker is. And so I just pull it out and I put it week to week and I move it down. And then I also have my, um, you know, my sticky notes or anything I need to remember. And I just move that as well with the dashboard. Okay. So that is the end of my daily section, which is divided by this folder. This is my, um, another one of those baby accessory pack folders that I mentioned earlier. Um, which I think is really pretty. I love the gold in here too. So, um, and I need some new folders. So that is the official divider of from daily to the next section, which is health. And I've got my pin loop on here so that I can have multiple pins. Um, I'm just gonna show you, I have three pins that I use um, pretty regularly. This one is my favorite, but sometimes when I want a little thicker line, I use this guy. And then when I want to try lettering something, um, I use the paper mate flare pen. Um, but usually after I've already traced it out in one of these guys since they're erasable. Okay, so health. That's where we are now. Um, so this is my health section and it starts off with my healthy habits uh, dashboard, which I made um, maybe three months ago. Um, once I got the Healthy Hero sticker book and decided that I wanted to do this. So this is what I look at when I get into the section. Um, I really like this. I will probably keep it around for quite a while because it's just a lot of great reminders and I think it turned out super cute. So got that. And then it's got its quote on the back um, just to kind of remind me. And then um, we get into March. So this part of the planner is made from the healthy hero planner the happy girl healthy hero planner that came out in the beginning of the year so in case you're wondering where some of these sections came so that whole first section was basically the neutral planner that i mentioned before and that was an 18th month planner um, that came out last summer and i've just been using months out of that and now we're into um, the health section so uh, I have my two top dividers. I've got my health month and then my health week. So basically I can just flip right to whichever one I currently need. And we'll get into the after the pins and the um, healthy hero now. So this is my um, monthly spread in March. And so this is this uh, setup that I currently have here. Um, I carried from March and did almost the exact same thing in April because I liked it so much. Basically, I write in a little uh, bit about how I'm feeling, if it's like allergies or if I'm sore or whatever it is, I put that in there. And then um, I write in my steps for the day. So I was sick, so you could see my steps kind of were really bad, but then, you know, I started also putting in the weather to try to see if that related to my allergies because I tend to get really, um, like get like hay fever and get really uh, stuffy the day before it rains like so I always kind of know when it's going to rain and so weather definitely affects me and so I wanted to kind of track that sometimes and just see how my body was reacting to the actual climate and then um, and this one I put in the weight tracking and meal prep as well just to try to remind me but I did not do very much very good with the meal prep at all this month as I recall but um Otherwise, yeah, this is that month. And then um, my first week in March, when I was um, ambitious and trying to do vegan and keto still, um, I really wanted to do it for March, but it, it just did not turn out. So, um, but this spread came out really cute. I thought I like these rainbow spreads, the softer rainbow spreads. And, um, but I needed to, my water started to, back off so I in April I tried to change that by making my hundred ounce goal 
Um, but anyway, so there's this after the spread, and then um, after the spread, after the pen, and then my next spread, um, basically just the after the pen. I I write down everything. I write down all of my food, and then I also kind of like try to keep track of my calories, my intermittent fasting window for the day, how long I ate between because sometimes I break the fast early if I'm hungry and and what have you so that is how that is um, and then all my stats and then this was a fun one this was the watercolor fruit spread that I got so these ones I think were Hobby Lobby stickers and um, yeah this was a fun one uh, I I did pretty good this week, I think. I kind of liked this too, a little bit different um, layout. But um, I don't know if you guys have been looking at my water, but I definitely needed to bump up my water. So, um, yeah. Okay, so this was another really pretty spread. Um, I really liked using these colorful boxes. This was the newer, well, not really the newest, but the, the mid colorful boxes that have more of the bright, fully colored tones, which was good. Um, again, it doesn't change too much what I track in here, just um, there's just a design. So that is how that is. And then my April goals. So um, I made the sheet and I've been tracking on here as well. So I every day I look at this sheet, which is really good. And I did my quarterly measurements, which I decided to cover, but um, I did want to show you this page. All my quarterly measurements were down, which was awesome and very inspiring um, just to know that, you know, my body is changing and for the better. So I have that. And then, um, yeah, so and my goals. So I've been trying to do my veggie keto without soy um, and I didn't do that well either with this I just have been so busy and I haven't done the meal prep that I need to do so there's that but the 100 ounces of water has been a lot better I've been much closer the little dot I used for if I was super close but didn't quite make it and then if I, I crossed it off if I um, didn't get close that day uh, speaking of water just drink some water um, uh, this is a side note, but if you guys need a new water bottle, I love these water bottles. Ello um, is a brand and you get it at Target and it's a glass water bottle with a straw. Love it. I had one for a year, used it religiously and then it broke and I went and bought two more just to make sure I always had one. So um, anyway, if you're looking for a new bottle, these ones are great. Anyway, I feel like I've been talking a lot, so my throat is getting kind of raw. <laughs> Sorry, um, April. So this is April, um, and again, the setup is almost exactly the same as the previous month. And um, been doing a little bit better with tracking the weather. And um, I also made a couple of different things, like uh, if I close my rings or if I had an allergy pill, so I can kind of see it at a glance what days I had to do what. And then, yeah. So that's that spread and I'm still working on it but yeah so it's been a little bit rough this month but I'm um, getting through and um, oh, let me move this back so first week in April this was the soft geos theme um, and this I like the stickers but I didn't I felt like it's a little crowded up here on this week so I didn't um, like the spread as much but I did start getting better about my water this this first week in April which was great and um, again just tracking everything that I normally track all of my uh, stats and my food so um, yeah there's that and then this was a fun one this one was inspired from the trendsetter sticker book um, most of the stickers came from there I got the um, Trendsetter accessory pack, excuse me, um, that week and um, just filled it in, but that's how the after the pin hair turned out. And um, I used this little area for my fasting hours and that worked out really nice. So we have that. And this was also another nice one um, with the purple to teal tones. Um, 
and I I tend to every month like I'll start using a certain sticker so I started using these get fit um, dashboards in April and I think in March I was still using the yeah I was using the um, it's from the same book but I would tr uh, trim it because you say focus on the top and use those um, for that so it t I tend to keep the dashboards the same for the month and then change it up because there's only so many dashboards in a sticker book anyway so um, I'm gonna probably run out of these for next month I have to come up with something else to do um, but yeah so anyway so this one came out pretty good I liked the tones in this and then we are in this week for now and um, I use I use little sticky sheets to um, kind of pre-plan what day is sometimes so um, and what I'm going to do that day so I have that and I'm just going to move that out and I kind of just keep it back here and um, I just come off of oh that's right okay and I have my health section and um, I'll put that back I'll put that back when we get there so anyway so I have um, the week so far and I have this dashboard here so I don't care so much about seeing what's coming up, so I use this dashboard, which kind of covers a little bit, um, because I don't I don't need to reference or you know later in the week. I just put in my stats every day, so I can look and then can reference it later down the road. So that is how the spread is going so far. And again, um, I really liked this this color scheme and with the food and everything to try to keep me a uh, food mindful and so it was um it's a good spread so far and I just finished my May goals which I think I recently posted so I have that on the back ready to go for May and then we're going to stick May in very very soon so um right after this and one last thing I have here is the um my health divider so back here I keep like my weight tracker I have like my weight um, tracker from way back from uh, you know like 2017 that I created and uh, so I keep that back there and my measurements and um, just some other things um, like my workout schedule and stuff but I'm not going to share that with you only because um, yeah, some of it's a little bit sensitive, so, um, plus I don't know if you guys are stalking me, <laughs> just kidding, but it's just better to be safe than sorry, so, um, I tried to keep a little mystery in what I'm doing, so, that said, that is where all that's going to live, and, um, I have a, one of the sheets that came with the Healthy Hero for the 30 day challenge and one day I will do one <laughs> when I'm less busy and that's basically my whole health section so this is just this little divider and then that's it so um, one thing I'm realizing I don't know if you guys have the same problem but um, certain colors and stuff like this folder is rubbing off on the page and um, so things start to look kind of dingy and dirty so I don't like that I need to figure out how to kind of divide these up so that you can have the divider and then it not affect your your actual content or your page okay so next section so that's the end of health and now we're into my social so I have mentioned this before too in a couple of different videos I really didn't think I needed a social calendar to start but um, I quickly grew out of my monthly spread version of social media planning and now I, I do it just as I do the other ones. There's a whole process, which I've done a video on. And I'll just quickly uh, show you how March and April looked. Um, again, the one I showed in a video when I was explaining my monthly, um, my social media planning was a lot prettier. So you'll see in the beginning, they're, they're still pretty rough. Um, this is a dashboard extension pack that I have used here. My first two months were old monthly um, monthly spreads from a previous planner that I, an old planner that I wasn't using. So this is um, now the dashboard setup, and so 
I've got that going. So we have my monthly spread. So this is where I put like the monthly plan for what I want to be posting. And then also like what videos I think I'm going to be posting. So this was March. So not, not a lot of frills, just, you know, just a place to put stuff down and then, um, kind of get my overall vision for the month. And, um, these are stickers. So I basically like numbered it and everything I had to date the whole section. And then, so this was my first week in March using this planner. And so, um, again, not a lot of thrill, uh, frills, excuse me. Um, but I did kind of set up, you know, what ideas I had, what tasks, what videos I wanted to do and that. And so, um, and this is when I first got my hundred subscribers on YouTube, which was super exciting and I could get my custom URL and, um, yeah, so this is when I started really kind of keeping track of stats and things like that and really getting into how to grow a channel and how to grow my Instagram um, profile. So, yeah, so there's the first week. So, again, not a lot of frills. Um, I got a little bit more ambitious here with some color coding and um, some washi stickers and things, but nothing crazy. Um, and then the next week... I put a few more stickers in, started doing my Spotlight Saturday um, posts there. Um, but yeah, like I said, nothing really exciting. And then um, a little bit more stickers, still doing the color coding. And then um, this week got a little wild. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so basically it's, it ends up being kind of the same throughout, but um, that's kind of how that went. And then I like to do kind of a, an overview page before the month of where I am and where I want to be so I can kind of see how things are growing and changing. So that was April. And then, um, sorry, that was March. This is April. And so I'm still in April, obviously, but um, yeah, so I have some things planned and um, so you can kind of see and this time I started crossing off the days just because visually it's just helpful to know where you're supposed to be so that is how this is set up but again not a lot of frills Let's put that back and I've got my dashboard so I can go right to my monthly spread when I want to know what I'm supposed to be doing and then I've got my weekly and this week I started using um, my little um, highlighters to kind of highlight things and change things up and this is the one I posted um, a video on when I actually designed it so you can see it is a lot prettier than I usually do but um, still very similar format and then this was last week which I kind of still went a little bit um, more on the, the decorative items and using the um, what do you call it? the highlighters and things like that and this is the week that we're currently in and it's still going so yeah so that's my social media setup and um, I have partly started where I want to be in uh, for May my overview and all that so then we have another folder this is my ride or die folder that I've had since the beginning and it's definitely worse for wear but and that separates my social media section out from my home section, or not really home, my miscellaneous thing section. I'm not going to walk you through this, these dividers. Basically what's in these, I'll just tell you, is like my home section has things like, um, you know, account information, uh, passwords, things like that, budget, a lot of things that are a little too personal to share. So I have that in there. Um, I have one of these budget at a glance is in there on the other side, it's filled out. And I put anything in here that I need to refer to, um, you know, regularly. And then once I'm done with it, or like once the month is over for the, the budget or whatever, I'll move it out into my home, um, my home planner, which I think I've showed you before, but the transformer planner that I have, um, that lives at home. So, and then I have my work, um, and this is anything that has to do with my freelance or my professional life, um, like ideas or like portfolio things. And um, so that's where I keep in there. And I can flip that. And then I have social. 
And this is like all my ideas and brain dump for social media and things that I am trying to do on my channel. So I have that in there. And yes, another blank page. Um, and by the way, these dividers were part of a Happy Planner set that came out. And I think you can still find them, but it's an accessory pack of gold dividers. So um, that's what all of these guys are here. And um, the last section is miscellaneous. This is like lists and things of places I want to go or see or do or just random stuff. So that's what's in there. And then I have a last divider a dashboard for um, where all my note paper is. So when I'm ready for writing or doing anything, I have a few sheets of different size note paper, one for my micro. Um, I have some half sheets in here. And I also have oh, um, different types of uh, classic size paper, um, lined, grid, uh, dot grid, things like that. And then that's the end. So that's the, the end of my planner. And then you can see everything scratched up. You ready to see it really dirty back cover? Here we go. <laughs> I need to clean it up, but it's so scratched, poor thing. Um, but yeah, so that is my current planner setup, guys. Um, I will be moving a lot of those sections out and putting in um, new months from this planner and my Healthy Hero. And then I might be doing something different for my social. I'm still deciding if I want to keep doing the dashboard layout or um, I recently picked up another planner. Um, it's this one here that was on clearance. I'll show you from here. So this is the actual planner cover. It was on clearance as well. It's another horizontal style planner. I just flipped the cover inside out. And um, yeah, so I kind of like that it has a little bit of decoration with it too. And I thought I would maybe try seeing if I could do social in a horizontal planner. So um, I might get into this, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm still deciding. But yes, so we've got those um, to look forward to for something new in the horizon. But for now, this is my current setup. So uh, next time you see this planner in a plan with me or what have you, I'm going to be changing out the discs and I'm going to be putting in the new months. So things are um, all set for the upcoming, um, yeah, for the upcoming months ahead. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And go ahead and leave me a comment if you want to get in touch, um, if you have anything to share, or um, if you liked it, just let me know. And uh, think about subscribing if you want to see more of my videos on a regular basis. Um, thanks again, and I will see you all next time. Bye!